right, so in this lesson, it's going to be on for estimating fractions on the number line, and this is the level one for this. So estimating fractions on the number line can be really hard because you really have to visualize this. So if drawing a picture is better for you, or if you have manipulatives, you can definitely do that. So when you see the fraction one-fourth, the denominator, the bottom number, tells you how many parts they're breaking the whole into. So our number line, this is a whole from zero to one. And I have to figure out, okay, if I broke this into broke this up into four parts, where would the end of the first part be? Because it's one fourth. I'm looking at one of the four parts. So you look at this number line and you visualize, okay, if I break this into four parts here, I know two is half of four and half is going to be in the middle. So probably about where this little dot already is. So if this is two fourths and I'm trying to get to one, I'm like, okay, now like where's the middle of between zero and where my mouse is, where this little yellow dot is. And I can go right about here and that's going to help me figure out, okay, that's one fourth. So they break the number line into the four parts and one fourth, one jump end of that space is going to be there. Going into our next one, one half. So if I break the number line, the whole, into two parts, because that's how many parts it says in the denominator, and I'm looking for the end of the first part, that means I'm going to be probably actually right here where this dot is already, because that's going to be about halfway between zero and one, one of the two parts. Now I have one third. So I'm still using the same method. If I break our whole into three parts, where is the end of the first part? So I can think, okay, if this is zero, if I go all the way over here and I still have to do another jump, I can't do that far because that's only two and I need three. If I go all the way here and do like another little jump halfway, when I have this really big part and two little parts, so those aren't equal. So I know it's going to be smaller than this. So I can think, okay, maybe zero to like here and about. So I'm like, okay, if that's about one third, if I do another jump about that much, maybe that's two thirds. And so then you can kind of like visualize it that way, kind of see, oh, look at that. And you're going to be able to figure out where you need to go. Zero halves, zero over two. Remember with the top number zero, boom, just go straight to zero. Your other hint with the number on the top and the bottom are exactly the same. You're going to go to one hole. All right, so now we have one six. So I need to think about if I break this number line into six parts, where is the end of the first part going to be? So because it's going to be the end of the first part, I know I'm going to be closer to zero. And so I'm going to come over and I think, okay, let me try. If I go like one, about the same two, three, four, five, six, it seems like I'll have pretty equal parts if I do about that many jumps. So I was like not right on the arrow, but I was pretty close. And we'll do our last example, one fifth. So now I need to think five parts. So my parts are going to be bigger than six. So if I'm here and I'm about like one, maybe two, three, four, five, five parts. So I'm like, okay, let's go about right there. And it's going to break into five parts. So you can see I'm definitely like a little bit off here, but I still caught GG. So it's okay if you're a little bit off because we're estimating. All right, so one fist was about right here, I remember this, and I know eighths are gonna be smaller. So I can think, okay, maybe just about right here. I go from zero if this is one eighth, two eighths, that's about that. Three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. So it looks like I'm gonna be pretty good. So estimating fractions on the number line is very difficult, so it may take you a couple tries to do this level. Um, but just remember, like, visualize and think about where it should be. If you need more help, ask, just ask a question.